Oh man, log splitters broke. Well, if this happened to you and you're having trouble, don't panic. Hopefully there's an easy fix. You can grab your other log splitter and use it. Uh, well, if you don't have another log splitter or like this one, it's broken too. Uh, we're gonna have to go back and fix the original problem. Like I said, if your log splitter just stops working randomly doesn't slow down all of a sudden halfway through a log or whenever it just stops and the lever uh, will move up and down but the piston uh, doesn't move at all then then it could be something simple uh, let's hope it is and let's take a look at what the most likely cause is and how you can fix it cheap and easy so let's get this thing in the shop we'll take it apart I'll show you what you're dealing with. Well, we got it in the shop. So, like I said, uh, if you're having trouble with your log splitter and the issue is that it suddenly stops, even though you manually move your valve handle and nothing happens with the hydraulic cylinder, uh, there's good news because most likely uh, it's a simple and cheap fix. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. In order to look at this, we're going to have to look right down here. So the issue is going to lie underneath the motor where the pump for the log splitter, the hydraulic pump, will join to the motor of your unit. So let's take a look from the underside. Okay, looking at the log splitter from the underside, uh, this is your hydraulic pump and this controls the flow of the hydraulic fluid to the cylinder to create the pressure to split the log. Um, the pump on the underside is connected to the motor up there. However, in between the two, if you can see with my light, there is a coupler or a connector, if you will, that connects the two. And in this situation, if you look right inside that coupler and connector, you can see that it looks like it's damaged. So there's pieces in the coupler there that are broken. The good news is that coupler is a pretty cheap part to fix. Well, that coupler is composed of three different parts, and there's one part that commonly goes wrong with these log, log splitters. And we're gonna take this apart and show you what you need to buy and how you can fix it. So if you look at the pump, there's two pieces. One piece of the coupler that attaches to the motor shaft and one piece of the coupler that attaches to the pump shaft. Now as you can see, in between there, there's what they call a spider gear. So as you can see, I can move the bottom coupler without turning the top coupler. And that in essence is the problem. And you can see right here, broken pieces. Uh, so what I mean is that the couplers here, and you can see a set screw on that one, those couplers are separate and they're connected or loosely um, fitted together with an in-between gear. And now I took a chisel and I lightly tapped up on the top piece of the coupler and you can see the separation between the two now. And you can see the rubber spider gear that's in between. And in this situation, after closer examination, you'll notice that the ends of these coupler uh, teeth, I'll call them, or cogs, are worn down. Also, the ones on the bottom coupler, this one, for instance, is missing and broken off. So in this situation, we are going to have to replace uh, both coupler units. Um, now it's going to be my choice in this situation whether I not want to take the pump off or take the motor off. There's nothing connecting the motor to the whole log splitter other than the bolts that mount the motor. Seeing that they're easier to get to on the bottom, I'm going to just remove the motor and I'll have a larger hole to access the pump and the motor. Whereas you do not have to drain the fluid or loosen any of the hoses when you do this procedure as uh, you would lose all your hydraulic fluid when you do that. Uh, it would make a mess 
and you'd have to refill anywhere from say three to six gallons of hydraulic fluid. So on small engines, there's usually various different mounting hole options. So in this situation, I'm just going to mark real quickly where which hole these are mounted to. That way I can line them back up in the future. got it down to where I can grab it I'm just gonna lift the motor right off and you'll see I can get to the coupler very easy now also you'll see that from the top I have a large hole now that I can access this coupler super easy instead of trying to reach in from the bottom over my head much easier just to take the motor off when you do this than to try to remove the pump now I can access these set screws and replace this damaged coupler and I'll do the same thing on the motor side. I'll remove this coupler off the motor shaft. So here's the new unit that I got. Uh, you can see it's substantially bigger. Um, now, this isn't going to matter too much. Uh, you can see the old one here what's left of it and the new one what's really important in this unit is that um, you know the bore size in the center is the same on the top and the bottom so in this case um, the bore on the motor shaft was 7 8 so we got the 7 8 one and on the pump was half inch so we got the half inch size uh, so that's really what we end up doing. They sell whole kits like this, but since ours was sort of a different unusual size on the bottom versus the top, we had to buy these components separately. So if you take it apart, you'll see that's what this one looks like. And this is pretty much identical um, to what it looks like on my larger log splitter, which is a 12.5 uh, horsepower with a 35 ton ram where this one here is only six and a half horsepower and um, it has like a 20, 20 ton ram uh, so so you know it doesn't really matter that the outside diameter of this is any different in size uh, there's plenty of space to put it in there um, really the inside bore is the important part and this thing's going to be way overkill sturdy for the size of it uh, I just couldn't happen to find the same exact size one uh, just ran down to the tractor supply and got these. They have them in stock. So I think these units each uh, was $10 or $10.99 for this half, $10 bucks for this half. The funniest thing is the plastic uh, part, plastic rubber part that goes inside here, uh, it was $8.99. Uh, so that was kind of crazy. But uh, now we can get it all put to back together. Uh, we'll get the log splitter going. Let's do it. So I used a 1 8 inch um, Allen head screw to tighten the set screws in. I made sure that I had the keyway lined up. And then I just used a, a little cotter pin as my spacer because I didn't want this coupler rubbing against the frame. So I used that to keep just a little bit of space between there and the frame. Uh, now. I'm ready for the plastic piece that's the buffer between the two and as you see one side of it has a recess well that recess is so the shaft on either the motor side or the pump side whichever is necessary can go up inside of there um, so that they can join closer together if necessary so you know up or down doesn't make much difference on this so in this situation the shaft is below that level so I am going to put this in this direction so that my motor shaft, if needed, can go down into that recess and give it more space. So now it's time to put the motor back on and tighten the top one.
Now you can see that we've just about got the two assembled, but there's a little space, so we have to make sure the motor sets straight down on there squarely. Now I'm going to line up the holes there with my previous marks and I'll put in the bolt for the motor. So now I've got the motor bolt holes lined up and I just uh, tap the coupler down the motor shaft until it's touching the uh, other coupler with the spider gear in the center. All I have left to do is just tighten those two Allen screws on the top, uh, the set screws so that it doesn't want to wobble or loosen up on the shaft, and I'm all done with this project. All right, so we got it put together. Let's give it a try. Well, thanks for watching my video. Hopefully this helps you in case your log splitter quits working. Uh, for my next video, if you want to see what's wrong with this log splitter next and how I fix it, uh, watch, keep watching my videos. I'm going to show you what's wrong with this one and what I'm doing to fix it. And we'll go from there. Thanks a lot.